Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and this is a prototype of a board that has wave shapers from the owned Martineau, which is a very old musical instrument, although these wave shapers are from a later version of it, I think from the 1970s, I can't recall for sure, that uses transistors. The earlier versions of the own Martineau used tubes. My thought here was that it would be fun to build the wave shapers as standalone signal processing units. So in the original owned, there's a triangle core oscillator, at least in the Mark 7, that is wave shape into a sine wave. And then either the triangle or the sine wave is put into various wave shaping circuitries to create these outputs. I'm not sure I'll be pronouncing this correctly. Let's see, we have Octavan, Gambe, Nezillard, and Kru. And instead of just putting in a triangle wave or a sine wave from a existing oscillator, we'll be able to put in generic signals in here. So you could put in sines or triangles if you want, but you could also put in other waveforms. Ignore the stuff down here for now. This is from an idea that we're currently discontinuing, but we might go back to. The shaper out here is not really shaper out. This is the noise output. I think it's called souffle. I should also mention that this is a work in collaboration with music technology student Mir Jeffries here at Georgia Tech. I ran out of Eurorack power cables, so my connections here are a little bit janky, but this should be good enough to test it and see if it works. So let's try it out. Okay, so we have power and nothing seems to have caught on fire. Okay, so here's a sine wave. This is the original owned waveform coming out of the owned VCO by their Vox. So this unit here is a commercial unit that has the wave shapers and the voltage controlled oscillator all in one unit, whereas this is just the wave shapers as a standalone. So let's take the output of the oscillator here and let's map it into the Octavon wave shaper by itself and see what that sounds like. Ah, it sounds like that. And let's see, the Kru waveform sounds like this. And if we map that into the Gambe, very buzzy. Ah, very nasally. So that's kind of a harpsichord kind of sound. All right, so we could also take some of the other waveforms here, because remember the idea is, is that we can use this to wave shape other kinds of waveforms. Let's try the total waveform, which is like them all added up. All right, so that's the total waveform. And here's the total waveform mapped through the Octavon. Okay, and now through the Kru, and through the Gambe, and Nezlard. Let's see, what else? Let's try the Octavon output. And the Octavon output of the oscillator sounds like this on its own. And now what if I now take the Octavon output and map it through the Octavon wave shaper? So we're wave shaping it twice. Sounds like that. Okay, and what about Gambe? Nezlard crew. And remember, the original sounded like this. And all of these wave shapers would have different kinds of sounds to them. If you were to, um, I was just playing with the knob over here. Anyway, if you were to change the volume of the waveform going into the wave shaper, you'll get different effects. And then we also have another output down here, which is the noise output. And there's a trim pot to adjust this. I just adjust it till I thought it sounded the best. You might make that a front panel control. I don't know, most of the other settings other than this didn't seem very useful. So when we redo the front panel, we'll need to remember to make mounting holes in order to mount the PCB.